After enough of you commenting and telling me how much I was missing out, I finally made a lightning build and let me tell you, it's actually very fun to play. Not only is this a lightning build, it's a lightning slash poison build, which honestly kind of destroys bosses. It does a ton of boss damage and spirit damage, making fatal strikes extremely easy and has stats like an absolute tank. I'm going to show you this awesome build that you need to try because it's really, really fun to play. That being said, I put a lot of work into these videos. If you could scroll down really quickly and subscribe to the channel and also like the video right now. So this lightning poison build is capable of dealing out a ton of damage to enemies through melee and other wizardry spells. You can see in small clips when fighting bosses you can hit them once or twice and basically let the spirit bar completely max out on the enemy all on its own. It's almost an automatic build where you can just hit an enemy and walk away and they die. Not only that but the staff goes bonk. So here are what the basic stats for the build looks like. You can see at level 118 I have 78 points in wood virtue which you want to put all your points into wood except for 40 points in metal virtue. You want to put 40 points in metal specifically for the abilities to be able to unlock and be used for the metal category. You can see I also have A agility as I'm running light armor and this build even works in new game plus due to the amount of health and other damage resistance that you have. Don't get me wrong it's a little harder but it's really fun. And this way we can cast our spells very very quickly. So as far as our gear we're going to be running the J green staff as our primary. One of the common trends you want to add lightning attack power on to your weapons and your gear if possible and add spirit damage effects such as spirit damage to enemies with shock meaning if the enemy gets shock on them they're going to experience even more spirit damage which is what this build is all about for the most part. Our backup weapon is heaven's reliance now both of these weapons scale highly off of wood and metal and if you can put lightning attack power and damage dealt effects on these as well this would make them really powerful as well as other special abilities like damage amplification abilities things like that. So the range weapon you have to have out to get the bonuses but again put lightning attack power and damage dealt on these as well as far as the gear goes again you can put damage amplification toxin attack power and lightning attack power because we're going to be doing damage for both as well as spirit damage to enemies with poison or shock again and you can mix and match these effects on all your gear as well as shock accumulation or poison accumulation on enemies Although it's not really needed because you pretty much accumulate those effects on enemies very quickly anyways. Again using special effects like power gain and damage amplification is great for this build as well. So put those on gear if you have them. As far as accessories just use damage dealt and lightning slash poison attack power if you have them to boost those stats as much as you can. And one other mention I'm using the Tianzu set. This set is a light armor set. This was concerning for people especially in New Game Plus. Once you get to New Game Plus this is a bit harder to use but it's not impossible because in New Game Plus all your characters take heavy damage from everything but with the unlimited dodge ability and the health on this build because it has a large amount of health 862 you can see is what I have it's able to tank a decent amount of damage meaning you don't always just get one shot. If you want you can still go for a medium armor set and still meet the equipment weight limit to be A plus agility while giving you a little bit more protection. It may just require a few points in earth that you can take out of your wood category. We're going to be using four main skills. The first one is going to be Elemental Plague. This is going to be the base of our skill set. It increases the accumulation of status effects on enemies for a certain period of time. So ideally you're going to want to cast this because the whole point of this build is to put negative effects on enemies which in turn does spirit damage to the enemy raising their bar for a critical strike automatically without you even having to touch them and it actually does an amazing job at this. So this skill will be casted before you use other skills. After that you want to use Venom Snare immediately on the enemy. This will cast a poisonous cloud on them doing a lot of poison damage and accumulating the poison effect on them for a long period of time giving you that automatic spirit damage on the enemy. You're then going to want to cast Lightning Weapon and hit the enemy one or two times one or two times is all it takes. They then get the shock accumulation on them, again doing more accumulation damage meaning it just runs through the enemy spirit bar. And finally, Perfect Restoral. Since we are running light armor, you can cast this very quickly, very easily. Every time you need to back up off of a fight or you think the enemy is going to attack, negating a full attack from the enemy. So if you know the enemy is going to do a critical strike, you can cast this and pretty much negate it completely. This is really important for this build to keep our damage down that the enemy is doing to us. And because of how fast we can cast spells with this build, you can cast this and keep it active on you almost nonstop. Now again, as far as stats, like I mentioned, you just need 40 points in Metal Virtue. Ideally, you want to level up the Wood Virtue first to get your Wood Virtue pretty high so that way you can consistently do damage on early and mid game. Once you are able though and get 40 points in Wood Virtue, you then want to put 40 points in Metal Virtue to get that even balanced and then just stack the rest of your points that you have available in Wood. This gives us a ton of spell duration and spirit defense, which is good for this build and reducing our consumption rate for spells to 70% of the normal cost. And considering we're going to be casting spells a lot with this build, that's great. The Divine Beast we want to be using here is Quinglong. 
It gives you the ability to heal if needed, as well as apply lightning damage to your weapon and increase spirit gain from attacks, meaning you're going to be able to do even more spirit damage and recover HP if needed. So one of the main keys for this build is melee damage. So obviously we have a wide variety of things we can use for this build, uh, but melee damage is going to be one of the primary things, mainly because as you're going throughout levels, melee is going to be good with the lightning damage on targets such as bosses especially also when finding regular enemies using your melee and how fast it is and how OP the damage is when enchanting your staff with lightning. It just makes sense that this is a very primary part of the build. Additionally, the second part of the build works like this. So you're going to cast your elemental plague spell, meaning it's going to increase accumulation on enemies. So that way when you cast your poison spells and enchant your weapon with lightning, it takes literally only one of two hits to put that effect on the enemy. So then when two or three of these accumulation effects are on an enemy, it basically takes their spirit bar to the moon and does an insane amount of spirit damage automatically without you ever having to touch them at all. So you can literally put two or three of these effects on an enemy and then just run around and dodge and never have to even attack them. And they will very quickly be put into a state for a fatal strike without you even having to touch them again almost. You can see how much damage with melee and the lightning enchant that I'm doing against small kind of regular bosses throughout the maps and tougher enemies. I literally do an insane amount of damage to tigers, to the porcupines, and even these difficult enemies that you and me and everyone else has died to plenty of times and it makes it super easy. One cool thing about this build is when you use your toxin spells, they get a brief moment where they are being stunned by the toxin, which allows you to run in and actually do quite a bit of damage and melee hits before they even get a chance to react. I try and cast that on every harder enemy as soon as I see them so that way I can get this advantage. This allows for a ton of extra damage and every enemy I fight once I can enchant my weapon with lightning I do it because it gives you literally an insane amount of increased damage so much it's not even it's not even funny. You can see here again fighting regular harder enemies you use that toxin spell and you kind of counter the enemy to stun them a little bit and you can take off half if not more than half of their health before they even get the chance to hit you once. Between the insanely fast automatic spirit damage and the insane amount of melee damage this build does, especially with lightning enchanted on your weapon, this build is one of the top damage and one of my top favorite builds to actually play through the entire game. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe. Let me know if you're gonna try this build out or if you're using another build that's even more OP than this. Check out this Wolong video on the right and I'll see you guys later. Peace.